Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Game Development Log Video Diary and this week I've been adding even more features to the animation system. So first off this week I wanted to add particle effects to animations so that I could set a certain particle effect to occur when a certain animation is carried out. And you can see an example of that here, with the particle effect being emitted from both of the feet bones when the player does the running animation. I then went a bit further and played around with my animation file format a bit so that I could choose certain frames of the animation to emit certain particle effects, making the system a whole lot more flexible and allowing for a huge range of possible effects. So here you can see a new animation that I made demonstrating this new feature, with certain particle effects happening at different points in the animation. I also added sound effect support for animations this week, which means that sound effects can be set to play at any point in the animation. So I added a sound effect to that new animation that I made, and I set it to start playing at a certain time, and here's the result. It's also possible to specify a group of sound effects instead of just one sound effect, allowing the animation to pick randomly from that group each time. This means that you can add a bit more variety to the animations, as you can hear from this footstep sound effect that I've added to the running animation. The sound effects are just me making noises into my microphone, but you get the idea. Finally, the last feature that I added to the animation system this week was looping points. Some animations, like the running animation, are looping animations which just play on loop over and over again. When the animation reaches the last frame of the animation, it goes back to frame 1 and starts over. But this week I added a feature that allows me to choose what point in the animation it loops back to after finishing the animation. And I've got an example of that here with this attack animation. Usually when you charge this attack it just stops dead once it's charged, until you actually fire the attack, but now I'm able to set it to be a looping animation and I chose for it to only loop over the last few frames like this. Obviously still a terrible animation, but you get the idea. As well as that, I've also been able to add in some more of the awesome models that people have been sending in, and I'll show you a few of them now. Firstly, you'll have noticed that this whole set of armour is new this week, which looks absolutely wonderful. There are also three new weapons this week. Firstly, there's this awesome greatsword, which I've got a few of here, all made from different materials. As well as that, there's this new tribal spear, and if we go to this shop over here, I think we should be able to buy the third weapon this week, which is this spirit short sword, which is looking very fancy indeed. And finally this week, there's also a new house model in the town, which actually goes over the pathway, which I think is pretty cool. And you can find the names of all of the people who made these models in the description, along with the names of everyone else whose contributions you might have seen in this video. So that is pretty much it for this week. Next week I'm going to be starting work on the new weapon and armor system, which is going to add loads of more features to wearable items. As always, if you want to be involved with this project and would like a copy of the dev kit, then do send me an email. And you can also get in touch with me via my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or IndieDB pages. All of the links are in the description below. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Thanks as always to everyone involved with this project. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a great week and I will see you all next time.